What is internet that, anyway? Oh my god. Could you imagine how small the world was before the internet? I know. It would just be like your town and what the newspaper's telling you. It spans the globe like a superhighway. It is called internet. <laughs> they call it the internet. Like a superhighway. Like it a superhighway. Oh, that's a little bit the too net. sexy. <laughs> The net to long-time users. The net to long-time users. I've been a long-time user, so I've never referred to it as the net. One danger is this could turn out to be an elitist system, one available only to people with a computer and a modem. That's right, only the most elite. Back wow. then, it was expensive. Everyone's just got one on a phone now. They're talking about it like it's such a novelty, this computer thing. <laughs> Phillips connects to Cupertino, California's city-run network, CityNet. CityNet. Look at that state-of-the-art technology. One of its greatest achievements appears to be as an aid in scientific research. Mark. By tapping into internet. I don't even say the internet. It's tapping into internet. Internet keeps growing. Look at that. Adding users and services. Promoting the it kind of looks cool again now. We've gone full circle. It's like on retro attractive. Yeah. When a youngster just home from school given a choice between Nintendo and the Encyclopedia Britannica, would choose to access the Encyclopedia. If that is so, Wrong. <laughs> that might be even a greater accomplishment than the technology. No, no. No. People don't even know what an encyclopedia is anymore. The internet. That's my favorite place. Humanity's greatest mistake. I remember the days where you, if you wanted internet, you had to like close like the, the, the phone line. Those were the days. Can you imagine uploading a video back then? CompuServe combines the power Whatever of your happened computer to poor CompuServe? The they tried so hard. CompuServe combines Comp the power serve. of your computer with the convenience of your telephone. To bring you wow, of graphics. To bring you hundreds of online services, like a complete set of encyclopedias. <laughs> Throwing books at me. <laughs> Information! It helps you decide on investments. Bank, make airline reservations, and shop in the electronic From your mall. computer? All those it things are true. With other computer owners. I love the e electronic games, mall. And offers games that Ooh. beat you against opponents around the country. You get all this and more. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> to get online with CompuServe and over a half million people throughout. Half million country, people? <laughs> see your local computer store. Your local computer store. Yeah. Those were a dime a dozen. That's a good description of what the internet not only is, but what it became. I have no idea what that was. Is that like AOL or something different? It must have been something like that. I remember when that's how you got to the internet. You had to go through the gatekeepers like CompuServe and AOL and, and all of these different guys and dial another service. What is the opposite of nostalgia? Is it just like terror memories? Where you're like, oh, I remember back when the internet sucked. Yeah, I just got America Online. Yeah, uh, AOL. There's Sounds AOL. I knew they were coming. Oh my, that that thing is huge. I can't go to the game today. Aww. I've got to send something for my mom's birthday. It's tomorrow. I'll then book plane tickets for our trip next week, and my kids natural go to acting. The to look up dinosaurs. Oh my god. We can take care of all this that before we go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Life was so hard. If only there were an easier yeah, right. solution. Hey, we can take care of all that before we go. Yeah. Right. Oh, with America Online. Online. Call now for America Online, a new way to use your computer to communicate, have fun, never have to go outside again, have fun, and get instant news and information. Flowers are sent. Pots? Now let's access the online travel service. How long have you had this? How? How long have you had this? About a week. And it's so wow. easy. All you do is point and click. But how does it work? Wow. All you need is a computer and a regular phone line. Remember that layout. All you need is a computer and a regular phone line. Here come the dinosaurs. I saved you a trip to the library. That's great. Yeah, that wow. That's easy, too. You know, I can even send email on the internet. He doesn't know what email is. <laughs> it's my personal favorite, live chat. That's how I met my new kayaking buddies. We'll oh, boy, he's later. doing online chat. My personal favorite, live chat. What's he doing on the live chat? <laughs> OK, we'll yeah, I'm sure his later. wife knows all about the live chats he's having. <laughs> so how do you get America online? Oh, well, that's easy, too. You just call their 800 number. I got to check this out. I gotta check this out. <laughs> wow, that's so strange. So the internet was like a company, America Online. Whoa, weird. I'm sure back then the internet was such a new concept that you have to relate it to people to make it like sound convenient. It's gotta be actual magic to him. What? I don't have to go to a travel agency to book a flight? And now I can do that right here 
right now. I can book a flight while I'm talking to you. In fact, hold on. America Online 4.0, the easiest just got easier. Again, America Online? They were like Google. I've seen this commercial a million times. They ran this commercial every day, every hour. They made the internet easier These graphics. Wow. Wow. It's beautiful. We've spent over News, $1 billion sports, to create kids, the world's largest personal finance. Network. Now we've spent over $1 billion to create the world's largest high-speed network. Now with 56K, connections are faster than ever. It's it was fast. not fast back in the day. Now with 56K, connections 56K, are faster man. than ever. That's it's fast. If you have a phone it's good. line, it's fast. If you have a phone line, you can go online. What I will... still remember the modem sound. What will they think of next? That's what I ask online. myself every day. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Oh, I remember that slogan. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. How does anyone not know about America Online? They sent CDs to everybody's house. We all had like 300 of them in a drawer somewhere. Everybody knew what America Online was. They got to save their money on their TV commercials. Back now at 56 Pass, I wasn't prepared to train. Katie Couric. As I was doing that little tease. Oh, that's that right. That little mark with the A and then the ring around it. At. See, that's what I said. <gasps> that's what I said. Oh my gosh. At. The See, that's what I said. Mm-hmm. Katie said she thought it was about. Yeah. About. about. But I'd never heard or it. Around. I'd never heard it about said. About I'd always about seen around. it. Around. See? <laughs> there it is. Violence at NBC, GE, com. I mean. Aw. Well, what well, Allison should know. What, what do you is say internet about anyway? Oh my God. Inter what is internet that, anyway? This is great. Internet what? Is, uh, Did he just ask? Massive computer. What network. is internet? Really internet is uh, that. Massive computer right. network. Mm -hmm. The one that's becoming really big now. You go, Katie. What do you mean? That's it's getting wait, huge. No, wait, what do you write to it? Like mail? No, a lot of people use it and communicate. It, I guess they can communicate with NBC mm. writers and producers. Allison, can you explain what internet is? Wow, that is so crazy! <laughs> there was a time when people didn't know what internet was. There was a time, a tragic time. Could you imagine how small the world was before the internet? I know. It would just be like your town and what the newspaper's telling you. Hey, why should I be on the internet? You shouldn't. Why? You're too young. Why? Ah! By the time we're in college, the internet will be our telephone. Television. Shopping center. This is terrifying. And workplace. And it's already got more stuff in it than you could possibly imagine. That's true. All the wires on those computers. In less than an hour, you can visit the planet Jupiter, take a tour of the Sistine Chapel. It could also be your friends, your girlfriend, Get every relationship that you have. For a team in Italy, chat with a friend in Australia. True. And I even found a recipe for. They're not wrong. I even found a recipe for cat food cupcakes. <laughs> it is as much a part of the future as we are. Oh. This is Tim and Eric before Tim and Eric existed. Shouldn't everybody be on the internet? Yes. 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 Shouldn't everybody be on the internet? Everyone is on the internet. Yes. yes. <laughs> Ask how you can get on the internet. At your school or library. They did put a lot of effort in there, though. Yeah. I wonder where those kids are now. I bet they didn't even believe anything that they were saying but it's all true. They're all just trying to boil down like the cool everyday things you can do with the internet. And it's, it's kind of fun to see because like, how do you explain to someone what the internet is? Even today, even today, how do you do it? So after watching these clips, considering a huge part of your career is due to the internet, what are your thoughts after seeing the way the web used to be talked about considering where it is now? Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful I live nowadays and not back then. You don't have to advertise the internet anymore. I don't understand how you'd like sell somebody the internet. Well, it'd be like selling air. I lived through a lot of that. So I remember when people were trying to figure that out. And, you know, I got started making online video in 2001. So this stuff is like trying to explain what online video was to somebody. You know, it used to take me 20 minutes at, you know, parties to tell people what I do for a living. They never could have anticipated, um, you know, phones, smartphones. They never could have anticipated, like, you could do all this from, like, that must have been a, a sci-fi fantasy. But they were starting to get things. You could hear them, it's like, you know, imagine putting your, your phone and your TV together and your this and your that together in one device. Um, they got that right but I don't think they anticipated it being portable. And I definitely don't think they anticipated the social norms of it. I realize that we have it so much better. Sometimes I just take it for granted and I forget, right? But I remember when there was a period of time that if I wanted to learn something, you had to buy a, 
an encyclopedia set for $1,800, and then it was outdated the moment it got printed. The very first time I'd ever seen the World Wide Web was in, in 94, and I was just shocked at an HTML page with graphics as well as words. And you could click on the graphic, and there would be bitmaps that you could use the graphics to put words that you could click on. In my mind, I'm like, what is next? Because I don't think internet is going to be like the last thing. I feel like after this, something more crazy is going to come and we're all going to be like, what is that? And then in 30 years, we're like, look at them. Can you imagine doing what you do now back when the internet was in its earlier days? No. What would I do? It's crazy that we are like the first people to do this job, so no one knows where it's going to lead. YouTube is this new media that only happened from the internet where anyone could just put something up there and do it themselves. Like before, yeah. it was just a completely different world where no artist or creative person could do anything outside of the establishment of like TV and radio and whatever. If we were this age now, when that version of the internet became yeah. a thing, we'd have to go the traditional route. We'd have to uh, we'd have to write actual film scripts and yeah. be like, let's hope somebody picks this. I would have been on like access cable, putting up shows and making my own shows and putting up, because you just like you could make something that was awesome and you weren't allowed to show it to anybody. There was no way to get people unless you physically handed them a VHS tape. There was no way anyone was gonna be able to watch your stuff. You weren't just gonna go to a network like CBS and say, put my show up. They're like, get out of here. So finally, the way they talk about the internet in these clips is hilarious to us today. Yeah. What do you, what do you think are some of the things we're gonna look back on and laugh? Um, I think that we're all probably gonna be uh, dead uh, <laughs> because of the internet. Yeah, the internet uh, will take over and crush us all. VR with our goggles that we put on, you know, and our sticks that we hold in our hands and we act like we're in the future. They're just gonna look back at that and they're gonna laugh. They're gonna look back at all of our like memes. <laughs> just be like, what was that about? Oh my gosh, can you imagine like people in the distant future looking back at these things being like, they used to communicate in pictures of frogs. Data caps and, and having limited amounts of data and the small amount of data that you get with your data caps, they'll look back and say, how did people survive with only six gig of data? Technology these days, you know how I was like laughing at how giant the computers were? I feel like we're gonna be like, you know, our cell phone. Oh my, I can't believe we had to carry cell phones. That's ridiculous. It's not know? like a projected I have like an implanted projector like screen, implant. like Iron Man in my head. I think people are gonna have Wikipedia just in their brains as like a chip, so you can just access anything just by thinking about it. Everyone will have all information all the time. Everyone yeah. will be able to do everything. And when Facebook has that level of control and all the information over our lives, we'll all just be enslaved. Robots will destroy us all. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to everyone that was in this episode. The links are going to be in the description box below. Bye! Hey everybody, I'm Adam. And I'm Dallin. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. I remember a time without the internet. How about you? Nope, I'm not that old. Goodbye.